What's up, guys? It's MB Boxing. I just finished up watching Jose Valenzuela versus Edwin De Los Santos, and this was a 10 rounder in the lightweight division. And this fight was Sunday, September 4th, from the Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles, California. And this fight was broadcasted on Fox Pay Per View. And in this fight, Edwin De Los Santos was able to get the upset knockout victory over Jose Valenzuela. Um, so this fight ended in the third round. I had it scored 20-18 to 18 in favor of Edwin De Los Santos. And just to break this fight down round by round, this was a massive win for the underdog De Los Santos. So in that um, first round, um, they both had some very nice shots. Um, like in the beginning of the round, uh, De Los Santos was landing some beautiful counter left hands, showing his um, Dominican boxing style, fighting very well. But then... Valenzuela was able to come back with some of his own shots, but then later on in that round, after Valenzuela seemingly thought he had, um, thought he had De Los Santos in some sort of trouble, he was coming forward on De Los Santos after landing some big shots, and then he got caught per with a perfectly placed counter straight jab that just caught him flush when he was coming in, and he got wobbled back, then he got hit with the left hand, and th that little sequence there from De Los Santos is why I gave him that first round. But then in that second round, it was a crazy round. So it seemed like Valenzuela was hurt with some beautiful like left-right combinations from De Los Santos, sort of in the midway point of the round. And then after it seemed like Valenzuela was hurt, Valenzuela was, Valenzuela was able to counter De Los Santos and drop De Los Santos down to a knee. So then I was like, wow. I mean, I was just shocked that Valenzuela was able to come back from that. He looked like he was pretty hurt. And then he was able to drop De Los Santos, but then De Los Santos got up, and obviously Valenzuela thought that De Los Santos was still hurt, he came in there, then got countered with a perfectly placed southpaw check right hook, and he got really wobbled with that shot, he got hit with one that sent him back to the ropes and sort of buckled him, then he was trying to throw back with De Los Santos and got hit with another right hook that sort of stiffened one of his legs up, and I mean he was just not in good shape, then he kept getting hit with hooks on the ropes, and he went down in the ropes, and he was also hit a bit when he went down, so the referee called it a knockdown, but gave Valenzuela some time because he was hit with a right hook when he was down, it looked like. Um, so yeah, that second round, that's really where it ended there, um, after Valenzuela got dropped. Uh, so yeah, I, even though both of them traded knockdowns, they cancel out, so I thought that the better work was from De Los Santos, so I gave him that round. But then in the third round, they were both coming out swinging, um... There were some big exchanges in that third round, but then, I mean, Valenzuela was caught again and buckled into the ropes. He was hurt, getting hit with big shots, and the referee was even telling Valenzuela this, um, that he had to sh show him something or else he was going to stop it, and he also got dropped in that third round as well in the beginning when he was getting, when he was getting rocked with some of those shots in their exchanges. He got dropped again, um, and like I said, the referee told him to show him something, and after he got up from that uh, second knockdown, um, yeah, he kept getting hit and hit and hit, and the referee waved it off. So yeah, this was a very, very big upset win for Edwin De Los Santos. Um, yeah, and this goes into the question, what is next for Edwin De Los Santos? Being that, I mean, this fight was just crazy while it lasted. I mean, they could do a rematch next because of how big of an upset this was and considering that Valenzuela is a young, up-and-coming guy. Um, um, they might be able to do that, so that's definitely an option, a rematch. Um, but otherwise, I think that De Los Santos should be taking on some more very tough fighters like that. Like, in his next few fights, I could definitely see him getting called up for another opportunity like this to maybe fight in a big card, a pay-per-view card, as, like, an opener like this one and fight a very solid-level opponent who might be undefeated or might be a former champion, former title challenger, like, something like that. I definitely think, I definitely think he's due for another big fight. Um, in his next in his next few fights, but as for Jose Valenzuela, if he doesn't rematch De Los Santos, um, I could definitely see him just building himself back up, taking on some lower ranked guys before maybe getting another step up fight, and just really trying to rebuild himself back up because this was a devastating, devastating first knockout loss. Um, so overall, Edwin De Los Santos drops Jose Valenzuela twice ultimately stopping him in the third round, but he also got dropped himself, but still powered through, getting that third round stoppage win, which was a very, very solid upset, handing Jose Valenzuela his first ever loss. And yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.